Hello everyone, and welcome to my tutorial on how to solve this cube. My solution to this cube follows the same steps as the Sarah method, but with a lot of experimentation I managed to discover my own algorithms, which I used to speed solve this cube with times easily under 20 seconds. With the use of these algorithms, you will need to a maximum of 33 moves to solve any scramble. But before we look at algorithms, let's go over notation. I happen to use my own notation for this cube, which I found most intuitive. Because finger tricks are not practical, the easiest moves to perform in this cube are what I call R and U moves. Some may refer to this as F and R, or 1 and 2. There are four different moves I have labeled R, U, L, and B. They are labeled according to something we call the bottom face. During these moves, the bottom face will remain stationary. For this example, we use the white face as the bottom face. They are... Oh, the blue is the front face. They are R, R prime, U, U prime, L, L prime, and B, and B prime. I've replaced B moves with Y rotations and R moves in my algorithms, so a B move would be awkward to perform. However, some L moves are necessary to keep. If you're not familiar with Y rotations, this is a Y rotation where the white face is the bottom face and the blue face is the front face. This is a Y, this is a Y prime, and this is a Y2. You'll notice that the bottom face remains the bottom face. This method is comprised of three steps. The first step is to solve the bottom corners, like this. Step two is to solve the top corners and permute the top center, which in this case is yellow. The third and last step is to solve the last three to five centers. The first step is to solve the bottom corners. This is the most intuitive step in solving this cube. It can be done in no more than 12 moves. The first corner can be placed in two or less moves, the second in three or less moves, the third in three or less moves, and the last can be placed in four or less moves. The last corner is the trickiest, however. There are only three orientations it could have. The first case is that the corner is oriented correctly, like this. It can be placed in max of one move. The second case is that the white side of the corner is oriented facing the side. The maximum of this is four moves. In this case, it's three moves. The third case is that the white face of the bottom corner is facing the exact opposite side of the bottom center, like this. This is also a maximum of four moves. Before planning to solve the bottom face, it is best to look for the easiest face to complete. Since the centers move, it is not so hard to be color neutral in this cube. In this case, we wouldn't go for white, we'd go for orange, since we have already two corners placed here. All we would have to do is move this corner here, and orient this corner so the orange is facing the top. Just to make it faster, here are some examples of where we have two corners left, and we can solve it in three or four moves. The first case is where these two corners have to switch places, and they're oriented like so. All you have to do is R, L, R. And here's the mirror case of the one you just saw. R prime, L prime, R prime. Here's a case where we have two adjacent corners where they're in the right spots but they oriented incorrectly, like this. All we need to do is U prime, R, U, R prime. And here's the mirror case. R, U prime, R prime, U. Here's a case where two corners are permeated correctly, but they're not oriented in this way. All we have to do is R, L prime, R, L prime. 